The federal eviction moratorium is set to end tomorrow after being pushed back multiple times in the last year. Now housing advocates prepare for a surge in people requiring financial assistance for rent and possibly shelter. Alyssa Lyons joins us in studio to tell us more. Yeah, the eviction moratorium set in motion last September by the CDC prevented tenants who were unable to make rental payments due to the pandemic from being evicted. Now that it's seemingly coming to an end, housing officials are preparing on all ends to help both landlords and renters. As of today, the number of individuals on the waiting list for housing assistance in Eau Claire has made its way to 400. 50 more than last year and over 100 since 2019. With waits topping 18 months and the moratorium on evictions ending, those in the housing assistance industry are preparing for an increase in calls in need and in shelter. I think sometimes our human nature is until we're forced to deal with an issue, sometimes we may end up ignoring it. So I I'm hoping that's not the case. We've tried to advertise and and work with um, people and get information out about the funding sources that have been available um, that have become available since COVID hit. What that will look like, it's really hard to say. It's kind of an unknown at this point. The Director of Housing Services at Catholic Charities, Kevin Birch, has been preparing to set up triage come Monday, the day evictions can be filed. Finding out, you know, what caused them to um, get behind on their rent or what caused them to be facing an eviction, and then um, just moving from there to, to solve the problem. They're ready to go. Despite the eviction moratorium being extended multiple times, some believe it's time it comes to an end. For a lot of these investors and, and landlords that, that own properties, um, they have property taxes that have to pay, and maintenance, and you know, they still need to maintain the housing to make sure it's safe and healthy, and all that costs money. Others, however, are worried that evictions will rise because households are unaware of the aid available to help those who fell behind on their rent. There are funding sources that are that are able to be accessed out there that we've never had before. We're almost struggling to even be able to communicate what is available and what is out there. The aid comes in the form of a $322 million federal relief fund designed specifically to keep Wisconsinites in their homes. The Wisconsin Emergency Rental Assistance Program is available to those who make 80% of the county's median income and display a need of financial assistance due to pandemic hardship. The Western Dairyland Economic Opportunity Council as of Thursday has distributed $2.4 million to over 600 families since February. So this benefits, of course, the renter who gets to stay in their home and be housed, their family, but it benefits the landlord. You know, most of our landlords are not these faceless landlords that own, you know, 100 different properties. These are single proprietors that own maybe one or two homes or apartments. So landlords also have mortgages and bills to pay. So it really is an economic development program. One thing to note is that Governor Evers actually expanded the rental assistance program to include utilities and internet. The program will send rent payments directly to your landlord and the process takes one to two weeks. When I was talking to all the housing and shelter programs today, they said they all work together. So if you find yourself questioning which one is best to turn to, resources at the Housing Authority, Catholic Charities, Western Dairyland, Lutheran Social Services, and Family, Promises, Family Promise can help. All right, thanks, Alyssa. Each resource will be linked on this story at WQOW.com.